All right, guys, welcome back. So in Node.js, we have objects that can be used directly in our application. And those objects are called global objects. Let's have a look at a few examples to understand some of the global objects and functions. The first one is double underscore file name. Now this represents the file name of the code being executed. So if I just wrap it around a console.log, add a semicolon, save it, and then open open command prompt here and let's say node app.js now this gives this represents the file name so we have the entire directory to where our file resides and then the name of the file which is app.js now similarly we have a double underscore dirname so console.log double underscore D-I-R-N-A-M-E and you guessed it this is going to print out or is going to represent the directory of the file under execution so node app.js this time we have the directory and not the file name so the double underscore file name represents the file under execution and the double underscore D-I-R name represents the directory of where the file is being executed. Now, the next one is a function or global function called set timeout. So, set timeout. Now, what this does is it is going to accept two parameters. The first one is a function. So, let's say we have, let's create a function first. So, we have function print stuff and let's say it just types out it's just prints in a log console this was from set time out and in a set timeout function our first parameter is going to be a function so print stuff and the second parameter is going to represent time in milliseconds so if i say 5000 it means 5000 milliseconds or five seconds and set timeout is going to call this function print stuff after five seconds so if you save this open a command prompt and say node app.js one two three four five so this was from set timeout so our set timeout is going to call print stuff function which is going to print this was from set timeout and it is going to be called after five seconds pretty cool right now if you want to if you want a function to be executed at regular intervals of time then we are going to be using a global function called set interval now once again this takes a function so print stuff and then takes time in milliseconds so let's say 2000 now if we save it go back to our all right let, let's just remove this so that we don't get confused and this was from set interval so save it go to your command prompt and run node.js node app one two this was one two one two so what set interval does is it is going to call our function print stuff after every two seconds if I hit control C it's going to stop the execution anyway to summarize what we've learned in this video we use double underscore file name that represents the file name under execution we use double underscore dir name to get the, uh, the directory name of the script under execution then we used a global function called set timeout that can be used to call a certain function after after a certain amount of time and we also had a look at the set interval global function that is used to repeatedly call a function after a fixed interval of time so thank you guys for watching and in the next video 
we are going to have a look at callback functions. Thank you guys for watching.